Today, I'm going to be rebuilding Ajax from FIFA 14 all the way to FC 24. The biggest club in the Netherlands has gotten off to a stinker of a start to their season. Sitting in the relegation zone, a manager already sacked. So we're gonna go back 10 years and take over Ajax. This is what the team looked like back in the day and obviously you're gonna recognize some faces. Like for example, Daily Blind, 73 rated, only 23 years of age. Obviously Christian Eriksen, this was the season he ended up going to Tottenham. I don't think I'm gonna let that transfer happen. God, even Bojan actually was at Ajax as well. I'm, I'm not sure how that one's gonna pan out. Even in the reserves, mate, you've got plenty of decent players like Veltman who gets up pretty good. Davy Klaassen, of course, only 67. God, how about this one? Stanislav Lobotka was a reserve here. He's a world-class midfielder now. Yeah, yeah, we are hanging on to him. I'm sure you know the drill by now. We're gonna sign and sell players, see what trophies we win, and then carry over the team at the end of the season to the next season and to the next FIFA. Be sure to like and subscribe if, of course, you are indeed new or if you haven't yet already, would super appreciate it. And let's start this rebuild off by getting rid of some dead wood. In all honesty, I will be transfer listing quite a fair few players. You've got just a couple of players here that aren't really going to go on to be anything all that special. Oh, oh. Actually, no, that's a bit brutal. Let me rephrase. They're not going to become world-class talent. Looking at the starting 11, there are some weaker areas like could maybe do with another centre-back. And there is one Dutch centre-back, young centre-back I have been scouting. And his name is Virgil van Dijk. You know, I, I think I can see a player developing here. You know, he... He might get a, a game or two, maybe, for the Dutch national team. So that is Virgil van Dijk into Ajax immediately. First signing. Can say I'm pretty happy with that one. And Victor Fischer was a decent youngster back in the day. Never really became, again, world class. Could maybe go for another left winger. He probably wouldn't be starting 11 straight away, but maybe in the future. Uh, Sadio Mane, why not? You know what? Liverpool's not really our rival or anything. But it sure seems like they're going to be the ones we're screwing over big time in this one. I'm continuing to sell on players trying to bring up some cash as well. Got to do a little bit of revenue raising if we're going to get both of these two. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be making this one happen. Christian Eriksen, imagine he went to Fiorentina instead. Nah, this is a fella who is staying pretty much the whole time. We finally get Mane to accept his contract as well. And on to the bench he goes. 69 rated for Sadio Mane. Let's get advancing ahead this season. In real life, Ajax won the Eredivisie. Being Ajax, winning the league is almost expected, so that is not the main focus of this rebuild. The main focus is, can we win a Champions League with Ajax? They came so close a couple of years ago. Might it be possible this time around? And how long is it going to take? Well, with two games to go, we have a shot at winning our first league title in our first season. We're four points clear of Feyenoord. We win the next game. We win the league. Let's go get our first league title of the rebuild. Ericsson with the armband. I think he'll probably keep the armband, maybe for the whole thing. I think he might be on here. Oh, I think he might be on here. It's going to be Mane off of the woodwork, but it's headed home anyway. Oh, come on, Sadio. you got to be putting those away. Thankfully, we had someone on hand to stick it away. Oh, that would have been too good. Mane been denied now by the post and now by the keeper. Oh, great chance. De Jong and go. Oh, yeah, again. CM De Jong another. We are wrapping up this league title. Hopefully the first of many, but again, we can win every era to BC every season, but I'll still feel a bit hollow without that Champions League. Oh, dear. Oh, God. Please don't let them get the goal back the same way. They hit the woodwork. Get rid. That time, finally, Mane gets it through. Since for him, I thought this would get blocked. No, through the legs. Well, that would explain it. About time, Mane. He's been working hard for that. But that's it. Game over. League title wrapped up. And on the final day of the season, we get to celebrate. The captain, Christian Eriksen, will lift it up for the first time. I am sure it will not be the last. This is just a step as we begin to build to something hopefully even bigger. We somehow got knocked out super early in the Dutch Cup, but oh well. And we finished bottom of our group in the Champions League. Again, that's okay. It's maybe a bit too early. But overall, we get started with an Eredivisie win. That's not too bad. Here is the current starting 11 in all of its glory with Virgil van Dijk and, of course, Sadio Mane now in the team. Here are the Ajax substitutes with Jasper and I forgot to mention as well, and the reserves too with Veltman and plenty others. Let's take that exact team over with us to FIFA 15. This season, Ajax sold CM De Jong to United 
and Daly Blind to Manchester. They signed two young prospects in Sinkraven and Zivkovic, which I remember actually having quite a bit of buzz about him, but yeah, he didn't pan out. I won't repeat any of the real life signings Ajax actually made, except for one. That was Andre Onana from Barcelona. 150K, that's what they spent for him. Not a bad pickup. I'm actually also going to make the signing of Arcadius Milik, who was brought in this season to them as well. Our starting striker from last season is now not so hotly rated anymore. In fact, like I might actually do something that I haven't really ever done before in these kinds of rebuilds. We haven't got a huge budget. It's like eight and a half million. That's it. I am going to try to sign a high quality older player that I can just kind of have be good for at least a season or two. He'll drop off eventually and then maybe we get a younger player to come up and replace him. I thought about bringing back Class Jan Huntelaar, but he is too highly rated and too expensive, unfortunately. However, I have found someone. Dimitar Berbatov. All right. That's kind of interesting, especially since he's 81 rated, 33 years of age, and we can actually get him for less than his value because he's in the last year of his contract. Hell yeah, they're going to accept it. I, I kind of thought they would. And he's accepted the deal as well. All right, we've got him on the contract. By far the oldest signing I have ever made in these 10-year rebuilds, Dimitar Berbatov, comes to Ajax. That's really made our front three looking a hell of a lot better as well. In my search for fullbacks, I came across one name, actually. Tagliafico, who, if you know, you know, Ajax did sign him, like, way later down the track. Maybe I can save a little bit of money by trading for him and getting him in now. In comes Tagliafico. Ajax won absolutely nothing in real life this season. What do we get? Well, again, to be expected, we win the Eredivisie. Thank you very much. We got one stage further in the Dutch Cup again. Why are we having such a stinker in this tournament? Not happening for us yet in the KNBB Becker. And again, in the Champions League, I'm happy to be patient, but I'd like to win at least more than one game out of six. The grind to build the team continues in FIFA 16. In this season, we saw Ajax let go of Sig Thorsen. They sold Krishna as well. And all the players that they brought in, so players like Nunez, uh, Gudelj, if that's how you say it, and Heitinger, for example. I'm actually going to say no to all of them. The only new player in the team is actually Donny van der Beek, who now pops up into the Ajax squad. He's in from the Youth Academy. Going to have a hard time getting a game, though. Our midfield is all 80 rated. Even Bojan's at an 81. Yes, Basilison up to 82 is great. Um, we've got Arcadius Milik still at striker. Yeah, you know Berbatov? He may no longer be in FIFA from 16 onwards, so that maybe wasn't the best pickup. A couple other plays we had from last season not in FIFA either, so we got 9.5 mil. We'll bring in some more. I think I'm going to make a move for another player from Monaco. This time, hopefully, he sticks around a bit longer than Berbatov. A right back for Benio, ladies and gentlemen. I'm hoping maybe CM De Jong plus, God, I don't know, let's say 4 million might get it done. And it looks like he's accepted. All right, that's for Benio coming to Ajax. Not the first player we have picked up that would have gone to Liverpool in real life, eh? How long he'll actually stay as a right back is to be seen. We are in the 15-16 season, which is very famous for, of course, Leicester winning the league. A big part of that was Riyad Mahrez, so why don't we take him as well? We just signed a right back i might trade a right back as part of it with van ryan and maybe oh uh, just plus one mil to get it done and yes sir that'll do it that's riyad mares coming to ajax as well now and i just keep finding more young plays we got a dutchie here that we'll hopefully bring back to amsterdam how's nathan ake for example at watford currently 20 years of age one defender for another mike van der horn why not send him away and hopefully get in a young quality player hell yeah and that's nathan ake now win as well to be fair that is with the knowledge that some of those fullbacks might not always be fullbacks. I can see one or two of them converting into the midfield at some point. But either way, I'm liking how strong the team is looking this early on already. Uh, you know, we got many more seasons left to go. We could hopefully be a threat in the Champions League, maybe sooner than expected. Again, in real life, Ajax, no silverware this season. What can we do? We can win a third straight. Eredivisie, you love to see it. And tied on points with Feyenoord. Our Shambolic run 
in the Dutch Cup continues. Another round of 16 exit. Why are the cup competitions so dead for us? We have not made it out of the Champions League group once. In fact, we finish fucking bottom every time. You're telling me Lazio, Valencia, and maybe to be fair, Man City. What, they're walking this team? That's an okay team. God damn it. Well, like I said, happy to be winning league titles. Champions League's what I really ultimately want to get at least one of. And we're still quite far away from it, apparently. But how do we look in FIFA 17? This season, Ajax went crazy. They let go of Arcadius Milik for 32 million. Jasper Sillison also left to Barcelona. And they signed some interesting players like Bertrand Traore from Chelsea. Uh, Davinson Sanchez, I will make Sanchez happen. But Sanchez isn't the center back I'm most excited to get this season. It's definitely Matthias De Litt, And he's not the only one that's come up. On top of De Litt, we've got De Jong as well. Wow. Kasper Dolberg as well has come up too. I mean, like, my God, this season was ridiculous for, for new youth talent. And now, suddenly, there's a bunch of names on this squad that in four or five years should be able to dominate. We've got some tidy players as is right now anyway. 84 rated Ericsson, 85 rated Mares. That's how highly rated he is after one season. Yes, that was the season that he ended up winning less of the league. And despite all the Dutch quality coming up through the Youth Academy, I'm still looking for more, and I found this fella, Denzel Dumfries. I reckon a, a straight swap with Nikolai Boylison should hopefully get the job done. Indeed it will, shocker, yet another fullback comes in. If you thought what Bayern did to the Bundesliga was bad, with how good this team's gonna be, we're gonna smash the Eredivisie for, for the rest of this rebuild. Again, somehow for the third time in a row, real life Ajax did not win the Eredivisie, they did, however, make the final of the Europa League. Didn't quite win it, though. When is it finally going to be our turn to get to a final of a cup competition? Oh, my God. I immediately, as soon as I start swinging my you-know-what around, we immediately lose the league, coming in second by five points as well. Oh, I, I thought our starting 11 was still pretty damn good, even with all the amazing players we've got coming up. Again, our inability to get out of the quarterfinals of this goddamn cup competition, it's astonishing. We finally successfully didn't come last in our group. We got third. Yeah, we didn't make it to the knockouts, but we actually technically did just the Europa League knockouts where we immediately got knocked out in the round of 16. What is actually happening? What am I missing? The whole team at the moment is 80 plus rated. In the Eredivisie, we walk away with nothing. How does that happen? I can't make sense of it, but surely at some point it has to click. Can it please in no, FIFA 18? Ajax no. letting go of plenty of other players this season. Two big ones, including Davidson Sanchez for 42 million and Davy Klaassen. We still got Davy Klaassen, we still got Sanchez. In fact, he's now alongside Virgil van Dijk. They brought in Klaas Jan Huntelaar on a free. They brought back CM De Jong. They also signed Nicolas Tagliafico, but Again, we picked him up a way back. They did also sign David Neres and Hakim Ziyech. Two signings I will replicate. Oh, and by the way, say hello to Masraoui that's come up from the Ajax Youth Academy as well. It just keeps getting even more insane. Four players I have that I've added to the transfer list. One includes Boyan, who has now started to fall from low 80 rating to a 77, and that decline only going to continue so we're saying goodbye to him and a couple of others that we pretty much kept on to from the start Rita Wild, his his overall doesn't go anywhere after this really oh I forgot to mention shout out to Justin Clivert as well who comes up from the youth academy can we do much with 20 million in terms of just making a, a starting 11 signing right now I, I don't really think we can you know we can't sign a, a low to mid 80 rated striker for less than 20 million so instead I'm gonna do this I'm picking up Victor Oshiman we're gonna have to pay his release Release clause of 5 or 4.9 million if you want to be, you know, specific, aka an asshole. And I'm also going to pick up this 24 year old 70 rated goalkeeper, Mark Flecken. If you know, you know. We need a backup goalkeeper or we need a third goalkeeper. So a nice and easy transfer there for us. Flecken is in as our third choice goalkeeper to, of course, Andre Anana and then to Jasper Sillison. And Victor Oshiman lies in wait. Oh man, when he gets going, this team's going to be, it's just going to be even more scary. I'm only just realizing that Ajax had quite a dry spell in terms of trophies in the mid 2000s. 
Again, nothing. They won nothing this season. I'll take the Eredivisie after missing out last season, but the cup, bro, the cup, for God's sakes, let it happen. At last, at long, long last, it's a final of the Dutch Cup. Hell yeah, it had to be against Feyenoord as well. We've been patient, but finally we have arrived in our first cup final. Captain Eriksen ready to go. Everyone else set to go. We're off and underway. Playing this one around a little bit. Bit of space. Deflection off of the woodwork. Oh, nearly. Oh, oh, this is phenomenal footy. Will he get it off though? It won't. Rebound. Oh my God, for a half a second, I thought it was in. Could I be in some danger here for that? I think I might be. Oh, no. That is 100%. Red. Red. We're gone. We're down a striker. Oh, no. We were on top. Now that might change things a bit. Or maybe not. This, oh, please, straight away would be huge. We got a defender in the way. Ball roll around him. Oh, get it past him. Good delivery, Zeech. Van Dyke. It's finally put in. And it's Virgil van Dyke from the corner. Oh, terrific placement. And Virgil van Dijk, the unlikely one to put us in front. Just don't let them get it right back, please. Come on, hold that Silicon. Oh, love that. Fabinho can hit him from distance. Do the right thing. Ziyech! It's Hakim Ziyech! And that is the end of it. We defeat the old enemy Feyenoord. And we seal our first Dutch Cup of this rebuild at long last. With a host of fresh faces and some familiar faces we finally at last lift up that dutch cup captain ericsson with the honors you love to see it go on get in there son beautiful unfortunately not perfect in the netherlands we uh we get third actually which is kind of stinky i don't think even ajax came third at any point in the last couple of years but regardless though yeah we've missed out feyenoord they get the league title they don't get the cup and after finally Finally, getting through to the knockout stage of the Champions League, coming second. What do we do, bro? We just go and lose to Tottenham 3-1 straight away. We're still without a knockout stage win in the competition. But if anything, we're building. But anyway, FIFA 19. The biggest transfer away from Ajax this season was definitely that of Justin Kluivert going to Roma for about 17 million. We saw the return of Daily Blind to Ajax. Of course, though, he's never left us, so we don't have to worry about that. But a signing I will make is going to be that of Dusan Tadic, who was instrumental in their Champions League run, which actually happened in this season. Ajax in real life were literally a couple of seconds away from a Champions League final, but unfortunately for them, Lucas Moura had other ideas. Some of the players that helped lead that side, like De Litt, for example, and De Jong, are now up and into the starting 11. But then you throw in a name like Virgil van Dijk, Sadio Mane on the left, with Mares on the right, and a whole host of quality players both on the bench and in the reserves. Atletico Madrid already trying to steal one of my stars. I'm not going to let that happen. De Jong is staying. But a couple of players that maybe won't stay. Uh, we've got Kishner, we've got Bazoa as well as El Ghazi, and, and Lucas Anderson I can probably let go. I might trade actually one of them here for Cody Gakpo from PSV. We can get him real cheap apparently. Ricardo Kishner for Cody Gakpo, a straight swap. I'd take that. And so too will PSV. Wow. Uh, yeah, you're going to be regretting that in a couple of years. I've also decided I might switch things up a bit this season. Andre Onana, I'm going to have as the new starting goalkeeper instead of Jasper Sillison, who I believe is going to start a bit of a decline from this point on. And instead, what I'm going to do is try to make another swap happen. Sillison for Mike Mignard. Again, on paper, it looks like that, you know, this is not the right deal for me. Value-wise, it looks like it's better for them, but they do want an extra three mil, which, of course, I'm happy to give them. And beautiful. That's another huge pickup. Mike Mignard is now lying in wait to really blow up in overall as well. As I mentioned, this was a big season for Ajax. They finally won the Eredivisie after a long time. They won the cup as well, but they only got to the semi-finals of the Champions League. Only. Do we manage to get to the semis or could we even go further? Well, first up, the Eredivisie. We are back again, winning it finally. That is a huge win. Well, it's a 14 point margin. Good to be back after the last two seasons. We win the Dutch Cup as well. This time we take down PSV. Are we on for a treble like it was looking like Ajax might have been? Hmm. We have made the Champions League final. It's something about 2019 and Ajax. Atletico Madrid, the team we will take on in it. 
Can you believe it? We actually went further than the iconic Ajax team and did in real life. Now I suppose all we gotta do is just win the thing because we're not done yet. We have made it to the Champions League final, a massive occasion. Atletico Madrid getting a little bit of a boost, playing in their home stadium as well. But come on lads, we have built ourselves quite a unique, quite a new looking Ajax team with a few sprinkles of familiar faces in there. What a pairing that is of Van Dyke and goddamn DeLitt. That is going to be a hell of a centre-back partnership for the other team to get through. Will it happen? Will we finally get that Champions League we've been after? Come on! Oh my god. This looks promising. Ericsson trying to go the whole way. It's not going to happen. And the referee has already called time. That half flew by. Come on, this is what we've been building up for. Let's go. Let's take this opportunity. Oh, I do not like this counter-attack. Not with Griezmann. Ball in. That's weak. Time is running out. If it's to happen, it's to happen now. That ball through was quite ambitious. And I don't think they won't have a chance for a counter-attack either. It's extra time with no goal score. Tough game at the moment. No side finding a way through yet. Oh, I love that space for Mares to operate. Can he go all the way? All the way. Maybe not. Love that cross in. Oh my God, what a save, Old Black. What a moment that could have been. He has kept them in it. He better not be on form if this thing goes to pens. God, he is seeing way too much of the ball. I do not like it. He feels too comfortable. Still with one more ball in. I don't like that. Oh, they win their header. It's off over the bar. And that is the final chance, the final attack. It's gonna be pens. And with an in-form, yeah, and Old Black clearly as well. Come on, let's make sure... Oh, it's damn left. Let's make sure they lose another one. Oh, God, that's way too close. I want Atletico to lose another Champions League. On penalties, they might do it again. Now for Sadio Mane. That's better. Is he going to do something cheeky? Up the middle, I'm feeling it. No, it's right. No, it's right. How did he not die? Fabinho, it's in again. If he misses this cocke, it's huge. He has missed it. It's Andre Onana. It could be the captain. Ericsson, he stayed from day one down the middle. It's all it takes. It's Christian Ericsson right down the guts. And yeah, Old Black doesn't get to one of them. Ajax, for the fourth time, are the champions of Europe. We do it in the year. They were so cruelly robbed of the final. Virgil van Dijk, Sadio Mane, they win the Champions League the same year they won it as well. How coincidental is, is all this? The cards fell for that man as well to be the one to score the almighty winning penalty. And now he lifts up the Champions League trophy from being dead in all cup competitions. We now rise up to the final and now we raise up the trophy. Get in there, son. We had to go all the way to Pens, but we have done it. Oh, that, ladies and gentlemen, is also the treble. Everything we can win, we have won. Oh, man, it's a thing. We still got so many seasons to go. 2019 was a great year for Ajax, both here and then. Let's move over to FIFA 20. And before I tell you all the transfers in and out this season, can we just look at that starting 11? I mean, oh, oh, mwah. That is some of my finest work. Off the back of their massive UCL campaign, we saw Frankie de Jong join Barcelona for 86 million. We saw Matthias de Litt go for 85 million. Now, with that money, they brought in players like Lissandro Martinez, Edson Alvarez. I won't go for them, but there's one player I will go for. Quincy Promes for 15 million. Questionable ethics for sure, but you can't question that 83 overall, so he's in. Think he couldn't get any better? Ryan Gravenberg comes up from the Youth Academy this season too. Oh, and who's that above him without a face? Is that, is that Yuri and Timber? I think that is Yuri and Timber, yeah. Yeah, that's Yuri and Timber. Absolute quality all over the field. A team, let's be real, way too good for the Eredivisie. If we don't win every single trophy from now until the end of the rebuild in FC24, I'll be a bit pissed. The only addition to the team this season is that of the real-life transfer of Quincy Promise. What do we get in 2020? Well... Okay, I told you this team was a bit too good for the Eredivisie. We have gone not just undefeated, we have gone... God, what's the word? What is the word if you win every single game? I guess we're the perfectionists then. I mean, seriously, 34 out of 34. We won the cup. Of course we did. Taking down Feyenoord. How about the Champions League? No good in the Champions League. We lose to Juventus. Or 
him on take out. So again, back to back treble kind of looked like it was on, but in the Champions League, we just fall a bit short. No matter, off to FIFA 21. Sometimes I Ajax said goodbye to some pretty big names this season, like Hakim Ziyech going to Chelsea, Donny van der Beek going to Manchester United, and Sergino Dest to Barcelona. They signed Sebastian Haller from West Ham and signed back Davy Klaassen. Not a worry for us, we've had him this entire time. But two players I will recreate the signings of, Mohamed Kudus and... Look, I don't care if he's a fidget spinner. I'm signing Anthony as well. Ridiculous. What a team. Mike Magnan goes into goal. And you may notice that Flecken's the backup goalkeeper and that we don't have another goalkeeper. Andre Onana was actually suspended this year for, uh, you know, for some chicanery. So we're not going to get him back until FIFA 22. Hopefully we can make do. Tough, but hey, that's how the cookie crumbles. How do we get on this season? Real life Ajax did the double, winning both the cup and the Eredivisie. What do we do? Well, we win the league again. Great, but... Oh, that's a drop-off. That's a fall-off, man. We went from 34 wins out of 34 to only 27 and winning by two points. Not going to cut it, man. Hey, we even actually conceded twice in the final. Nah, what's happening here? All right, at least we do the double. We're once again faltering kind of in the knockout stage. Of, yeah, we actually got turned over by, by, by Barcelona. It's got to be said, 5-0 on aggregate. Well, we've gone past 10 trophies now, which is great. Um, that's a bigger haul than what Ajax have managed IRL. Three seasons left to go. I want to squeeze at least one more Champions League in there. Can we do it in 20? I just wanted some more. Another twist. Think I didn't tell you. Not a bunch of huge names leaving Ajax, but some decently sized ones. Like David Neres ended up being sold off, and so too did Noah Lang. While bringing in, you know, players like Mohamed Zarami and like Steven Berghaus, for example. The team evolves once again a little bit. I think players like Magnan, Delit, Van Dyke, they, they're holding down their spots. So too for Fabinho. Almost the entire spine minus Ericsson's now back into the team. We also know Victor Oshiman's overall is going to explode and Mane's and Mares's might drop off a little bit. So maybe it might, you know, plateau a little bit. You know, we've got like almost over $40 million. So I reckon there is maybe a signing to be made here. We could get in early for one more world-class midfielder in Enzo Fernandez and get him while he, you know, hasn't even moved to Europe yet while he's still at River Plate. 23 million release clause. I'd be all right with that. You know what? I, I can probably do that. He won't be a starting 11 player, but just, you know, he'll be quality. So that is Enzo Fernandez added on into the team. Then, you know, just a simple little addition that I'm sure will pay off again for us later down the road. Not a very long road to go, though. We only have three more seasons to try and win some silverware. Again, a Dutch double for Ajax this season in 2022. Can we replicate that? God, again, skin of our teeth stuff right here. Look at this. We win it by having one more goal difference than PSV. But the Eredivisie is secure again. Not the cup though. So it may only be the Eredivisie unless we've made another final in the UCL. Which, no, we haven't. We seem to be quite fond of our quarterfinal exits at the moment. God damn. Well, unless I'm forgetting something, that's probably the first time I think in this whole rebuild we have been outperformed by the real life Ajax. I think the team might change quite a fair bit going into the next season, the penultimate season. It's FIFA 23. Boy, did Manchester United give Ajax some money. They ended up signing Anthony for 95 million. It just does not make sense even to say out loud. And Lissandro Martinez got signed for about almost 60 million. They got all that money and their most expensive signing in was that of Steven Bergwijn, who is just not even, he's like the second highest rated attacker now in the team. Second lowest, I, I meant to say. But anyway, I, well, let's go ahead and just make that one happen. It's still obviously going to be Mane, Oshiman, and Mares. And like I talked about, Oshiman's way up in overall. Mane and Mares, that front three is very, uh, you know, very similarly rated now. Shout out to Enzo Fernandez, now made it all the way to the subs. And Lobotka, who you remember, we started this career mode with. He's finally, maybe, going to get some action. Boys earned that. Only 30 million in the budget. I tell you what, Ajax, for the amount of money they made in this window, God damn, it doesn't look like it. Maybe for 30 million, I could sign a slightly better fullback, but it would only be just a, a, a percentile of an improvement. I'm still okay to kick on with that team as it is. They did win the Dutch Cup this season, but they finished third in the Eredivisie. Uh, it's their worst finish for like 10 years, and maybe it was a bit of a sign 
of what eventually happened this season with their horrible start. I would like to think we're not going to finish third this season, but uh, we've had some close calls in the league recently. What do we get? Oh yeah, no, no close calls this time. Absolutely dominant. That could be, I mean, it might be. That's like 16 point margin. That's almost the biggest win we've had in the Eredivisie. We also pick up the Toto KNVB Becker Trophy. Oh my God, it changes names all the time. The fifth time we won it after not being able to do anything in the first couple of seasons with it. Bloody hell, we're up to like 14 trophies. We almost, almost got to make it 15 or have a shot at making it 15. But somehow, yes, this is the Europa League. We somehow finished third in our group. And yeah, well, there you have it. We ended up getting uh, knocked out by Roma with uh, one game to go. Damn then. Well, not this time it would seem. That is not too bad of a second to last season. But now we head over to FC24 for the final season, a final shot at a Champions League. If we're only to win one Champions League in this rebuild, I'm, I'm happy it came in the year that it did. Of course, it had to be in that 2019 super season. But I would love, love one more for this side. Can we make it happen? Off to FC24. Final season of the rebuild, let's have a quick comparison. This is the Ajax team in real life right now, this season. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's okay. And this is the team that we have rebuilt Ajax into. I don't see this team starting off their season with six, seven straight losses personally. Hell yeah, baby. Ajax made even more big money selling huge names as well, like Mohamed Kudus going off to West Ham. Yuri and Timber went to Arsenal. Edson Alvarez went to West Ham. And not really replacing them with that many notable names. Like the most notable name would be maybe Chupa Akpom they brought in this season. Maybe not all that surprising, the predicament they're currently in. Shout out Stanislav Lobotka. Patience is a virtue. He waited 10 whole seasons. Look at that. Finally, he's made the starting 11. I'm happy for you. Only one thing remains then, people. Will we make a Champions League final in our last season? The team is about as strong as it's ever looked. Last chance, maybe a chance at another Eredivisie as well. What do we get? Well, um, not what I expected with the team that we have, all things considered. We actually come in third place. Well... I mean, if real life Ajax get that, they will take that in a heartbeat considering all that's considered. But this is not what I wanted from the last season. What is happening here? Beaten by Feyenoord in the semi-finals. Uh, okay, there's only one possible competition. And if we've somehow made the final of it, I will be literally, it will be jokes. Have we found a way, fluked away from the looks of things into the UCL final? Oh! <laughs> Dude, of course, of course. We're in it and we are going for number five. Man City's going for number two. This team does make it to another Champions League final. Fabinho won't be playing in it. God damn, he's suspended. I reckon maybe we'll swap him out with Enzo Fernandez. Can we play oh, Lobotka at CDM maybe? Mares fell off a cliff as well. I'm not liking that. I Could I actually go with Anthony up top for, you know what, why not? Let's get the fidget spinner in the UCL final for Ajax and see. Maybe he could be the hero. This is it, people. Champions League final. If you haven't already, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and let's bloody bring it home. Champions League final at Wembley, and of course, Man City will be our opponents. It's kicked off. It's underway. Oh, what? Right through the back of him. Bernardo Silva, if that is a yellow, I get a red for that every day. Well, already a little bit of... Bro, I, if I do that tackle, I am dead. I am off to the guillotine. Why does this referee have such clear vision when he's obviously fucking blind? Oh, crap. He's gone right on by me there. That is going right back to Bernardo, and he's put it over. Imagine if after he should have been sent off, he scores a freaking goal to put them up in front. I would not have been happy. This, if we can work it, could definitely be something. De Jong! Oh, wow. I thought that was in. How much did it miss by? Oh, yeah, pretty comfortable. Will this goal come at any point? Oshiman! It's in off of Victor Oshiman! Gets up high. That's a big leap, and oh, perfection right up in the top corner. 
Oh, that's a good ball in, you know. Dembele, Mike Nan, big save into the side netting. Come on. Go, end to end game. Great game. Great game for the neutrals, but a tough game so far. Can we continue it in the second? I'd love to get a second. Oshiman with those big long legs gets a little something on that. Anthony. Surely not! It's Anthony, the fidget spinner's got it! Against Manchester City, we are 2-0 up. No way that has just happened. What a strike, what a hit that is. Brazilian on Brazilian crime. Victor Oshiman strips it and Anthony smashes it. Oh, 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 horrible mistake. Victor Oshiman, get to it first. Oh, come on. As if De Bruyne's going to have a go from there. No chance. That is all the way back in Manchester. We started this rebuild all the way in FIFA 14. We have taken on the best team in the land in the Champions League final. And we have secured a 15th trophy of the rebuild, a second Champions League, and Ajax's fifth. What a work of art this team that we have put together is. And what a way to cap it off. Captain Virgil van Dijk lifting it up. It's another Champions League for Ajax. And that is the rebuild complete. A pretty damn good 15 trophy haul. We will take it. Leave it in the comments down below, lads. What team do you want to see me rebuild next? And if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to click on this one as well for plenty more.